Well, here we are in the Shell Starship. It's been a long time coming. I've wanted to drive this. Hey, real quick, before we hit the road, we're here at the Barber Motors Motorsports Speedway outside of Birmingham, Alabama. Really great facility. Um, check it out, world-class motorcycle museum, few cars. Um, this used to be a center steer vehicle. Obviously, again, this is a sort of a test bed truck, um, but everything on this vehicle is something that you could spec out and put on one of your own vehicles. Um, nothing crazy that you can't get, you know, uh, from any major supplier in the country right now. I'll make sure I'm clear. Really got, we got the camera systems all over the vehicle, so that's really nice. And um, we're on a short track here, so we're not gonna go really fast. Again, this is a Cummins X15 in natural gas engine. Feels, sounds like a diesel. Uh, you know, if you didn't tell me, I don't think I would necessarily assume it was a natural gas engine right off the bat. The first thing that really jumps out at me are the views over the front end of this thing are just incredible. Really, really outstanding field of view in this truck. This is a Navistar chassis, so it handles um, nothing, nothing crazy on how it handles. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I really like the instrumentation. I really like the large uh, center cluster display right here. That's a really nice touch. Um, and again, listen how quiet this interior is. It's, it's, it's very, very, very quiet in the cab. Truck handles great. I'm a real fan, real fan of the rear view mirror system. I've commented on those on several stories I've done. I just think they're a no brainer in terms of safety, in terms of uh, aero efficiency on the vehicle. Um, so yeah, this is a cool truck. I would really like to drive it on the highway and see what kind of reaction you get from passing motorists. I'll bet that's really something to experience. What you read about the truck is it's a test bed. It's been sort of built, you know, from scratch in a lot of ways. So maybe you feel like this is some sort of cobbled together design. It really doesn't come across that way. This feels like a fully integrated, um, really quiet, well-built truck. Is as smooth to handle as any uh, production vehicle you, you'll climb in. And uh, it's just a real treat to get to drive it. You know, if you're interested in the future of trucking, if you're interested in you know, you worry about, hey, what, what's it gonna be like to drive a truck with a natural gas engine? I'm here to tell you not a whole lot of difference um, between this and a diesel. Um, I'm increasingly a proponent of natural gas uh, in the short term. I know there's a lot of talk about hydrogen engines. I fully believe we're gonna run diesel a lot longer than people suspect. But I think it's really time for the industry to start paying a lot of attention to natural gas. And I think this truck is an ideal test platform that can really show the benefits and just how effective a solution natural gas can be in long haul trucking applications. Hi, we, uh, we're here for the Starship experience. We've got the third generation of the Starship truck that's running a Cummins X15N natural gas engine. Uh, we've been really pleased with the performance of this truck so far. We were able to achieve a nine miles per gallon diesel equivalent fuel economy. With this truck, uh, the freight ton efficiency was excellent. Um, it's one of the things that we set out to do with the Starship initiative was to test out readily available technology that fleets can learn from. And I think what we learned from this is that natural gas is a great alternative for fleets that are looking to reduce their carbon footprint, but as well uh, reduce their total cost of ownership. Uh, the the cost of, of natural gas equivalent of a diesel gallon is a lot less. Uh, so even though it runs a little bit hotter and gets a little bit uh, less miles per gallon, definitely something that I think could be a great uh, alternative for, for fleets looking to, to decarbonize. And Heather, you guys are working closely with Cummins on this. How's that relationship been? It's been great. Their engineers have been excellent. We, um, we, you know, we were retrofitting this truck from a diesel engine to the natural gas engine, right? So there were a few uh, challenges that we had with getting the getting the engine into a Navistar chassis and everything else, and we were able to work through all of that with their engineers, and they were uh, they were really great to work with. Final question is simply this: There's nothing on this truck, despite the name and the the, the futuristic appearance, and it's the Starship. There's nothing on here that a fleet manager can't talk to their Meritor supplier or any supplier in the country Absolutely. and put on the vehicle. Yeah. That was very important to you guys, right? Yes. Talk to your lubricant supplier also. One of the big things is the, you know, the uh, the 5W30 weight engine oil that we run in the truck, which it gives it a pretty significant boost in fuel economy. Uh, combine that with the low rolling resistance tires that we worked on with Bridgestone and the and the Cummins engine, and uh, it's it's a pretty great combination. <laughs>